Okay guys, now we're starting the edging on the bottom of the skirt. So here what I'm doing, and you can attach the yarn anywhere, but what I'm doing is I'm attaching my variegated green yarn to the bottom of the skirt, and I'm working in that back loop only. So I'm working in the back loop of those, um, of the granny squares here. And I'm making half double crochets crochets all the way around the bottom of the skirt and those ends there I'm just going to crochet right over those yarn ends that way I don't have to weave them in later and you want to do one half double crochet just all the way around in that back loop what that does is it's going to give you a little ridge there and it looks really cute so I like the way it looks so I'm going to do a half double crochet in the back loop of each one of those granny squares and crochet over every single end and here I'm just speeding it up so um, so you're not completely bored watching me um, if you need to pause the video at any time please do and this is just again one half double crochet in the back loop of um, each of those each of those stitches on that granny square and I'm doing it exactly the same way really as I did the top before so I'm making one into that chain one space one half double crochet and then um, I'm making it in one in each of those corners there too so just so you know and um, when I get to the end here what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to join with that first half double crochet made but again right here all I'm doing is I'm continuing to do half double crochets all the way around until I get to the very end or the very first half double crochet I made so I'm just going all the way around in a circle pretty much is what I'm doing now and I'm crocheting crocheting in that back bump of um, each one of those granny squares there and I'm um, the yarn ends that I cut, I'm crocheting right over those so I don't have to work them in later. And I'm just continuing all the way around now. And I got a little knot there that I have to work out. And just continuing all the way around until I get back to that end. And after that, I'm going to color change to the orange color when I get all the way around. And if you're liking what you're seeing and you like making this granny square dress with me, please consider subscribing to my channel and pushing the like button. Um, it would really help me out. I would really appreciate it. And I'm going to have lots of fun other projects also coming up. So you don't want to miss out on any of that. Here now I've gotten all the way to the end. And now I'm just going to make a, a slip stitch in the top of that half double crochet right there. And now I'm going to change my yarn. So I'm going to cut off that variegated green and I'm going to change to the orange. So what I'm doing with the orange is you could make one just normal single crochet all the way around, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to tie that variegated green in the back just so it doesn't come loose. And I'm going to do this um, viral TikTok hack that I saw a little while back that I thought was a really cool finishing stitch. So I'm going to do just like I would a single crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop. I'm going to pull it up though to double crochet height. Then I'm going to make a twist and I'm going to pull through all of it. So it's so it's you just pull up that loop you make a twist and then you pull through all of it and i'm sorry that it's a little bit out of the screen here i didn't realize that when when i was recording it or i would have re-recorded it but you just keep doing that all the way down to the very end and if you don't pull up to that double crochet height there what happens is um it'll be very, very hard to work through because that stitch gets extremely tight when you're pulling it through. So just make sure that you're pulling it up to that double crochet height and just work all the way around to the very end. And again, I think this is a really, really cool stitch. And if you want to while you're working also, you can lay that 
um, kind of more flat, flatten it out just a little bit so um, so it doesn't look so funky. So you can kind of get um, get your eye on what this is going to end up looking like. And um, it's just, again, repeating that over and over and over again. And I do really like the way this is looking. And I'm just continuing the stitch over and over again. And of course, if you don't like this stitch, you don't have to do it. You can just do a single crochet all the way around. Or you could also just um, use that last row we did as your finishing row and not even do this row if that's what you like. Um, you can do it any way that you like. And after we finish this row, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our piece over and we're going to attach the yarn to the very top. And here I'm almost done with um, this row of orange here. And um, I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch made and I'm going to cut my yarn and then I'm going to kind of do the same thing I did on the bottom on the very top. So I'm going to attach my green yarn and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a single crochet all the way around and then I'm going to attach my um, orange yarn and I'm going to do the same stitch here for finishing on the top. And here I'm just going to um, connect those right there and I'm going to um, cut my yarn and you can go ahead and weave this in if you want to. You don't have to. And I'm going to um, I'm going to tie it with the first orange made. Um, that way it's secure and I don't have to worry about it coming out. And what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to tie this really tight. And I'm not going to work those ends in. I'm probably just going to cut them and uh, glue it with the fabric glue again. And then I'll be done with it. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the yarn again to uh, the top portion and I'm going to do a single crochet all the way around. And um, the single crochet all the way around, I'm going to start it in the middle of the back. And I like starting everything kind of in the middle of the back so I finish up there. And um, sometimes you can kind of see where you've started and finished at. So that's just what I like to do. And sorry, this is um, kind of... At the top again I didn't realize that when I was filming it um, or I would have redone it but you're just doing that single crochet you're just continuing to do it all the way around until you get to the very first stitch that you made and when you get to that first single crochet that you made you're going to just do a slip stitch in there and then you're going to change your yarn color if that's what you want to do is change your yarn color again you don't even have to do this um, to finish. You could just decide that that's the way you want your top to look. And um, you could go with that and you could start the straps from there. But I like the way this looks. Um, I think it's great for finishing. So that's what I'm doing is just the single crochet around. And it gives it more interest, in my opinion, the top part. So single crocheting all the way around here. And then... Um, I'm going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that I made and then I'm going to pull through the orange and I'm going to cut the green there and I'm going to go ahead probably and tie that after I do the orange slip stitch that. Again just pulling through and I chained one right there and now I'm going to tie that green and then I'm going to continue to do the um, TikTok hack that I saw that I thought was really cool. So I'm going to continue that stitch all the way around. So I'm going to insert my hook into the same stitch. I'm going to, and right here I kind of got messed up a little bit. And you can do that sometimes. Sometimes it gets a little um, caught and that's okay. So I'm going to just pull through there. So I'm going to insert my hook pull it up and do a twist and then pull through. So I'm going to do like I'm doing a, um, a single crochet, but then I'm going to do a twist and then I'm going to pull through to finish that. And again, if you like the look, um, please use that. But um, if you just wanted to do just a single crochet all the way around, that's fine too. There's tons of ways you could finish this off. 
and really you could just slip stitch all the way around and that would look really cool too um, when we move on to the straps what we're going to do with the straps is we're actually going to work underneath our um, finishing round here so we're going to work into um, those green stitches there so um, the single crochet that we worked all the way around that was green that's what we're actually going to be working the straps into so we're not going to um, mess up the look of our um, finishing round here and here I'm just finishing this up and I'm going to do my um, slip stitch and then I'm going to um, cut my yarn and really it's probably a good idea to go ahead and weave in the ends right now um, before you move on to the um, to the straps of the dress and the straps of the dress are really cool I hope you're gonna love them because I really love the way the straps look too um, but I'm just gonna tie that there and again what I'm gonna do instead of weaving these in I'm going to just tie it really tight and I'm going to put some fabric glue on it so it holds it where it's at and then I'm going to um, just move on and what do you think about this stitch I love it I think it looks really really great and um, that's the end of this video stay tuned for the next